Welcome to Urban Knife Guy, where we explore the urban lifestyle and jungle survival. Today, we're going to look at another Victoria Knox Swiss Army knife, and this is the Cyber 2 Small. And I think this possibly could be the Swiss Army knife for knife enthusiasts if you're folding knives. It's almost perfect. It's not perfect as you get it, but we could possibly make it perfect. And I'll explain why in just a bit. First, if you watch this channel regularly but have not subscribed, please do so to help the channel out. Thanks. So the Cyber 2 is a line of Victorinox knives, uh, a specific model with a specific tool that makes it the Cyber 2. And that's the small, medium and large, also comes uh, with or without the light, which is the LED light. This is the small version without the light, comes in the grey stand box and you have the guide to the Cyber tool. And as mentioned, this is the smallest one or the small one with 27 functions. It is a three layer knife, but it is uh, thicker than a typical three layer knife because of that main driver, which distinguishes this tool from other Victorinox models. The scales are these translucent scales, which I personally don't really like. They scratch up really easily, but I can see why they went with this for that kind of a cyber look, I guess. Uh, you can see through it a bit, looks a bit cool. And it also comes in different colors if you like, but I like the standard red for this. All right, let's talk about the tool set first. It does come with the main blade, of course, like with any Swiss Army knife. Uh, this is the 91 millimeter knife, which is kind of the standard medium sized knife. All right, typically good fit and finish and quality and the strength of the back spring. There's that pen blade as well. And you have these two uh, flat head screwdrivers with the cap lifter, wire stripper and can opener over here. Now, this tool set is really just like the Spartan, at least those that I've shown, including a corkscrew over here. So this is almost exactly like a Spartan, but without the micro driver and the plus scales. Plus scales means uh, there's an additional tool in the scales, which I'll show in just a bit. There is also a straight pin, which is inside over here. There's a hole. And I've talked about how to replace this or how why I replaced this with a needle. And you can check out that video in the link in the card above or description below. You do have the micro driver for glasses, spectacles, or in this case, since the Cyber 2, it's for small screws for electronic devices. And I talked about the scales, and uh, these are plus scales, meaning you do get the standard uh, toothpick as well as the tweezers. Uh, and the third tool over here would be that pen, and that's uh, the plus scales. And you get it on similar models such as the Compact. So that's basically kind of the standard tools you get with a Spartan, uh, except for the scales and the micro driver. But what really distinguishes the Cyber 2 series is this main driver over here. Check that out. Really nice strong arm and actually has a good half stop so that you can use the driver in different ways and different configurations like almost as an extender over here uh, if not you can put it at a 90 degree angle you also get the bits and there's a magnet which holds it in place as well uh, this is a t8 and then if you flip this open you get a whole bunch of other drivers here right or bits right you have a phillips head and a flat head you get Another one over here, Philips head, different sizes. Again, really meant you know for different electronic devices or equipment that you might need them. And then you have these uh, star heads over here, again, in uh, two different sizes. When I first got this knife, or when I kind of intended to get this knife, I thought, hey, this is going to be the perfect knife for knife enthusiasts because now you have that bit driver, you have a Swiss Army knife, you have the T8 and T6 uh, bits that you can use to open up knives, uh, folders like this, the Spyderco Para 3. Uh, and that's one of the reasons I got it. And then I must say, one of the subscribers in my channel, Christopher Robin, pointed out when I did a short uh, on the Cyber 2, he pointed out there's, that there's no T6 uh, Tox bit. And 
I thought there was, I really thought there was. Uh, I know there was a T8, I actually used it to uh, tighten the pivot for this, and I just assumed for whatever reason there's a T6. Uh, it, it was just a natural assumption, and I realized that's a bummer, because for knife users, if you don't have a T6, then you need another bit driver, and that kind of defeats the purpose of this. Um, and, and I was a bit disappointed, honestly. But then I did a bit of research and I found out that you can get a third party. Well, I'm not sure if it's third party because they call it a genuine part. But you can buy a bit to replace this. This is the T8. As you can see, it's for some reason, it only has a single head. The rest all have double heads. So I managed to find this, which is a T8 and a T6. And that would replace this now of course i had to buy this and this itself is not cheap this is about 10 us dollars and for me adding shipping which costs even more just to get this to kind of complete this knife in my opinion i'm not sure why they just didn't provide this double-headed uh t8 t6 bit in the first place uh, but that's something you have to decide if you want this particular knife especially if you are buying it as a knife enthusiast uh, to use as kind of a maintenance tool but now that I've got this, with the T8 and T6, it now becomes perfect. It is the perfect knife for a knife enthusiast. I won't go so far to call this my EDC. The reason is, if you watch my videos, you know I would consider this a pretty thick knife and I don't like to carry such a big uh, thick knife for EDC. But I think this is my EDT, my everyday table knife because it's got all the functionality I think I'm going to need. And if I need to, you know, uh, do some maintenance on my knives, tighten uh, knives, remove screws, remove clips, change them around, I now have the tool for that. I don't need a separate, uh, you know, toolkit where I get my drivers and then I, if I want knives and screwdrivers, I get something else. This becomes my EDT. And now to me, this becomes that perfect knife for knife enthusiasts. Of course, you do add the cost because you have to buy the extra part. But I thought I'll put it out there. And if you have this knife or you have the medium or the large, uh, let me know how you use it. Is it your EDC or EDT? Do you use it for knife maintenance? I like to hear your thoughts in the comments below. Thanks again to Christopher Robin for pointing out there's no T6 bit, but we've got all that sorted. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. And if you like the content in general, please subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell. Thanks for watching. Talk to you soon.